The greatest commandment. This is from Matthew chapter 22, verses 34 through 40. Up to now, we have seen a series of tests, or rather attacks, by the religious elite of the Jews against Jesus Christ. And each time, Jesus astonishes them with his answers. The Pharisees, the Sadducees, even the Herodians never had a chance to best him in their tests. In verses 34 through 40, the Pharisees try again to trap him. This time they send a lawyer. This is not the lawyer that we are familiar with today. This man was a scribe whose specialty was interpreting the law. This man supposedly was an expert, one who studied, meditated, and nurtured himself in the knowledge of the law of God. And so another test is put forward towards Jesus by this man. He asked, Teacher, which is the great commandment in the law? Of the two religious groups of the Jews, the Pharisees were the stricter of the two, as it concerns the law and the prophets. Through the years, they had classified some 600 or so laws, then distinguishing them from the important to the less important. This in itself spells out the ridiculous nature and attitude of the Pharisees. They may have characterized the law into 600 laws, but in truth, they could never keep them all like any other Jew. Jesus tells the lawyer, you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. This is the first and great commandment. Jesus quoted Deuteronomy chapter 6, verse 5. Deuteronomy chapter 6, verses 4 through 9 is called the Shema, the Hebrew word for hear. This is the Jewish confession of faith that is recited twice daily by the devout Jew. In the second part of his answer back to the lawyer, he says, and the second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. The second part of his answer, Jesus quotes Leviticus chapter 19, verse 18. In essence, here lies the adage of the golden rule, where we treat others as we want to be treated. It prompts believers to measure their love for one another in what they wish for themselves. Verse 40 brings his answer all together. He says, On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. Remember when I mentioned that the Pharisees had characterized some 600 individual laws? Jesus Christ's simple answer to the lawyer's question lie in only two commandments. Yet these two encompassed all the laws and the prophets. In fact, they covered the entire Old Testament. Jesus defined mankind's entire moral duty under two categories, loving God and loving your neighbor. When we look back at the Ten Commandments of God, we see these two categories clearly defined. The first four of them dealt with our relationship to God. The remaining six dealt with our relationship between human beings. Jesus Christ told him, and he tells believers through the ages, that if we truly love God and our neighbor, we will naturally keep the commandments. The Pharisees had their own categories and it con that as they concerned the law and the prophets. They had too many of them, 
and the truth was they could never follow them all. Jesus says there are but two commandments. Follow and obey these two, and you will obey and follow all the rest. How simple and uncomplicated. The religious leadership of that time had put a heavy burden on the Jewish people in following God's commandments. No one could follow and obey their interpretations of the law. Try as they could, the religious authorities failed in their attempts to trap Jesus. Their plans and schemes all came to nothing. Believers need to adhere to what Christ said here. The greatest commandments lie in our relationship towards God and man. That is to love him with all our heart, mind, and soul. As we love him as Lord and God, we will love our neighbor. That is the sign of a true believer in Jesus Christ. God is love, and we need to portray love not just to other believers, but the world as a whole. This is what separates us from the world, that we love even when the world hates us, scorns us, and despises us. Follow these two commandments. When you do, you are being a true and faithful servant of God. Father, you, again, you reveal to us, again, truth. You show us that you are a God of love who cares for all. And that the great commandment that all mankind needs to follow is loving you. When we love you, everything else falls into place. Loving you also portrays ourselves to love our neighbor, all those around us, the stranger. Because when we love you, Lord, we will love the world. Though the Pharisees may test and attack him, they could never again trap him. Because, Lord, we know that your Son is God in the flesh, who has come to reveal your love and your mercy to all mankind. And so as believers in your son, our first duty, the first thing we need to do is love you with our heart, with our mind, and our soul. And as we do that, we will love our neighbor, whoever he may be. Even those that despise and hate us, ridicule us, want to harm us, because that is the image of your son to the world. We, we show that image to the world. We ask all this in Jesus' name. Amen.